morning folks putting out a few trail cameras today if you've never messed with these before uh, there's all sorts of ways to mount these a lot most of the time they'll come with a, a strap that you just put around the tree but that's kind of visible and it's hard to adjust for angle and things uh, it's worth your time to make up a kind of a pivot type of a mount the way I do mine, it's just an eye bolt, and you put a washer on one side and fill it with hot glue. And then you drill through from the side with the washer, and you do that to two of them. One of them's shorter than the other one. This one's got a point on it that'll screw into the tree. This one doesn't. And what you do is you put it on here like so. Put a wing nut on there. And cameras have a standard quarter by 20 pitch to them. So this, this third eye bolt, it's cut off. It's just the, uh, what do you call it, blunt end, I guess. That will screw into your camera. get it to do it there we go that screws into your camera use the wing nut to snug it down tight then this goes into your tree then you can adjust it you can adjust it up and down real easy and side to side is a little harder you kind of got to have your this one here in the right spot when you set it up but then you just up up and down is real simple anyway that's all it is it's pretty easy design I don't like this trail camera has a mount on the back of the camera I don't really like that it sets it out from the tree too far um, a shorter bolt would be better here most of them it's on the bottom and I could put it into a log or a branch and then it's then it's more like that but anyway that's the end of the plan today is to set out a couple of these the wind is blowing and that is another problem um, kinda of quit now but the see how those branches there are moving around that's enough movement to set off these cameras. So you'll end up with about a thousand pictures of tree branches moving if you put it in the wrong spot. These ones here, same way. So it's kind of hard actually to find the perfect spot. It, uh, you want a place where there's not a lot of movement from brush, not a lot of wind, but a place where the animals are going to go. And also, you don't want it visible to people because they tend to run off and seal your camera, unfortunately. I've only had one stolen, but that's one too many. They're a hundred bucks or so, you know. And, uh, if you put them down knee level people don't see them there so much and if you put them above eye level people don't see them so much uh, one or the other I don't know for sure which one is best I generally put mine a little high but not always uh, sometimes I hide them in the rocks instead of using the mount at all I'll just wedge this back into the rocks and it blends in pretty well that way so, Anyway, see what we can come up with here. Trigger speed on some of these is not very fast either. If you're on a road or a trail, you got that much time for that thing to come on. 
a lot of times it doesn't do it fast enough you end up with a picture of nothing so if you're if you're on a trail or a road try to angle it down the road that way you get them coming or going and you got a lot more chance of picking up something uh, this spot like I say there's not a real good place to put this so I'll keep looking Okay, litter here. Okay, so that's not really all that noticeable. Looking down the road there, uh, both directions, there should be plenty of time for it to trigger. Well, set that one up and look for another one. This would be a pretty good spot, and I was going to do it there, but uh, after looking around, I'm pointed into the sun. You don't want that. It'll make your camera look really weird. The pictures will be all distorted. Uh, I got it on this road here, hoping for wolves to come by, but uh, I don't think I'm going to leave it there. Find another spot. Anyway, that's kind of the idea behind all this.